Malik Malik, also spelled Mulukmalik, Malag Malag, Malik Malik, or referred to as Ngolik Wanga. Ngulu Wanga is an Australian Aboriginal language spoken by the Muluk Muluk people. Malak Malak is nearly extinct, with children growing up speaking Creole or English instead. The language is spoken in the Daly River area around Wuliana and Nayu. Classification Malak Malak has sometimes been classified in a northern Daly family along with an Anson Bay group of Wagadi, Patitjamal, Wajigani, Kanjaramal, and the unattested Gayag. Green concluded that Wagadi and Malak Malak were two separate families. Later researchers have linked them, and this is reflected in Bowern 2011. However, the Wagadi people are recent arrivals in the area, and their language may only similar due to borrowing. AIATSIS and Glottolog treats Wagadi as an isolate and Gayag as unclassifiable. Phonology Vowels Consonants Typological classification Malak Malak, is an ergative absolutive language with constituent order mainly determined by information structure and prosody, but syntactically free. Marking of core cases is optional. The language is mostly dependent marking, 1, but also has no marking, 2, and head marking features, 2, 1, dependent marking, possession. Doro's dog. 2, no marking, noun adjective. I tripped on the little stick. 3. Head marking, noun ad position. He sits down underneath the water. Morphosyntactic properties Malak Malak's verb phrase uses complex predicates. These consist of an inflecting verb that has properties of person, number and tense. Malak Malak only has six such verbs. In example, for, uu and beta are inflecting verbs. Additionally, there are coverbs which have aspectual properties, but do not inflect for number, tense or person. They occur with inflecting verbs. They are unlimited in number and new verbs are also borrowed into this class. In for, cubic carrier, dat tide, and car coverbs. They can also form serial verbs, cubic carrier, dat tide, for, complex predicates and serial coverbs. He crossed the river and looked once, then he came here. Spatial language Malak Malak employs all three classic types of spatial frames of reference, intrinsic, relative and absolute. Additionally, the language uses place names and body part orientation to talk about space. The intrinsic frame requires some kind of portioning of the ground object or landmark into named facets from which search domains can be projected. In English this would be, for example, the tree is in front of the man. And in Malak Malak it would be five. Five, intrinsic frame of reference. The tree was behind, the man. The relative frame of reference involves mapping from the observer's own axes front, back, left, right, onto the ground object. An English example is the ball is on the right. In Malak Malak it would be, 6. 6. Relative frame of reference. Now the ball was on the right, jumping up, lit, jumping in an upward place on the right. The absolute frame of reference requires XED bearings that are instantly available to all members of the community. An English example is the opera is west of here. In Malak Malak, three different types of absolute frames can be used. Those based on the course of the sun, east, west, 7a, on prevailing winds, northwesterly, southeasterly, 7b, and on two sides of the prominent Daly River, northeastern, southwestern bank, 7c. 7a absolute frame of reference sun this one is west and this one is east 7b absolute frame of reference wind one is facing the river and the other one is facing northwest 7c absolute frame of reference riverbank it is underneath on the northeastern bank side of the chair 
References Burke, D. B. W., 1976. The Malakmalak Language, Daily River, Western Arnhem Land. Canberra, Pacific Linguistics. Ray, Sidney H., January to June 1909. The Angolic Wenger Language, Daily River, North Australia. The Journal of the Anthropological Institute of Great Britain and Ireland. Journal of the Royal Anthropological Institute, 39 137 141. doi 10.2307, 2843287. JSTOR 2843287. Hoffman, Dorothea. http colon slash slash Hoffman dot wordpress dot com. Hoffman, Dorothea, twenty fifteen. Moving through space and not time: North Australian Dreamtime Narratives, Narratives from the South Pacific, Sociocultural Explorations, ed. by F. Gounder. Amsterdam: John Benjamin's Publishing Company, fifteen to thirty five. Hoffman, Dorothea, twenty fourteen. Mapping the Language, How a Dying Language Loses Its Place in the World, Endangered Words, Signs of Revival, ed. by Galad Zuckerman, J. Miller, and J. Morley, Adelaide, Australics, 1-18. External links Malakmalak at the Dalilanguages.org website